What's going on guys? Welcome back to Grave Uncut and today we got another movie review for you. I want to apologize in advance for anybody using headphones during this video. This is why I have recording issues. Anyway, the review we got for today is Spider-Man Far From Home. Now, this movie had a solid story to it. It did touch base a lot from uh, Avengers Endgame. They referenced Tony Stark a uh, crap ton in a Spider-Man movie. Mainly because, if you guys remember from Avengers, Tony Stark was a mentor to uh, Spider-Man, who was played by Tom Holland. I don't mean to like jump it, jump from talking about this to this, but um, I find Tom Holland very awkward. No offense to anybody that's a fan of Tom Holland, but I just still find him very awkward as Spider-Man. So they referenced a lot to uh, Tony Stark, especially to him dying in Avengers Endgame. Uh, spoiler alert, if you haven't fucking watched it already. <sighs> anyway, the movie starts off where uh, Spider-Man and his classmates correction, Peter Parker and his classmates are going on some trip to, uh, I guess, like a few a few countries, uh, obviously outside of the U.S. They start off in Italy. I'm not going to go over, like, everything that happened in the movie because I want you guys to actually see it for yourself because it was actually a pretty good movie. So we have Spider-Man in Italy and going to other countries where... Of course, things have to get a little fucked. <laughs> Let's go with fucked. So, he's in Italy, and all of a sudden, there's this elemental... I want to say being, but I'm not 100% sure to say being. It's an elemental thing. Which we later find out isn't a thing. It's not really complicated, you'll find out in the story of the movie. Anyway, so we find out that Spider-Man has a new enemy for this movie in particular. And he's kind of got a background with Tony Stark. We meet uh, Mysterio, who apparently his real name is a Mysterio. He's just claimed that because people don't know who the fuck he is. But Mysterio, I'm just going to call him Mysterio because I don't remember the name per se, which is probably going to end up coming to me like after this video anyway. Anyway, Mysterio apparently worked with Tony Stark. Apparently, Tony had taken one of his concepts, called it Barf, which I guess he took privy to and wasn't too happy about that and wanted to take control of Stark Enterprises. Anyway, so Spider-Man is given a pair of glasses from Tony Stark that gives him control of a lot of stuff that Tony had as far as in Stark Enterprises. But he feels he's not Tony Stark enough for it. So he gives the glasses to Mysterio, who we now find out is a douche. I'm not going to go any further than that just to give you guys just like a little bit of a grasp just to like what's going to happen. So just from that the story was relatively solid. The characters were pretty good. I still I I just can't buy Tom Holland as Spider-Man. Even from the first one that he was in, I still cannot buy Tom Holland as Spider-Man. He's awkward. He's an awkward Spider-Man. And then you got uh, Zendaya, 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 I still don't know how to freaking pronounce her name, as uh, MJ. I don't really buy that either, honestly. I don't know why. I just, I just, I just can't, like, grasp it. But aside from, like, the character issues, those are the main ones. And as far as Mysterio, he actually played the villain pretty damn freaking well. All in all, it was a good carryover from... It was basically feeding off of after the situation with Endgame where people got... People disappeared and then people reappeared, apparently, like, 
aged like five or six years, or something like that. And they called it the Blip, which had a terrible name for it. Could have come up with a better name for it. But it's, it's now a thing. And I love how uh, the running gag in the movie was uh, Peter Parker's uh, spider sense as the uh, Peter Tingle. That'll that'll be a thing in the movie. That it's like a running gag, which it's like every time you hear it, it's kind of like cringy. My my final uh, thoughts on the movie: solid story. Characters were characters were relatively good, aside from Spider-Man being awkward and Zendaya. MJ, whatever, being, you know, but it's like, it, I guess it goes along with what, uh, the background of Spider-Man anyway, because it's like an awkward teen getting superpowers, so I guess it works. Final rating on the movie, I will easily give this movie 7.5 out of 10. It was a good superhero movie, not the best superhero movie. The story, again, solid story to it characters were now that I'm the more and more I talk about it the more and more I think about it the characters weren't as bad as it's just fucking Tom Holland man he's just he was all right uh do I suggest seeing it opening weekend I mean if you're a superhero fan you're gonna see it on opening weekend regardless but if you're like one of those casual uh fan like fans of Marvel movies I would definitely say check it out it's worth the watch. It's just, it's an okay superhero movie. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching. This has been Grave Uncut Reviews, Spider-Man Far From Home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share the video with your friends. And feel free to jump in in the comment section down below to let me know what you thought of the movie, if you've seen it. Or to let me know how much of an ass I am in this review. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.